good day. Welcome to Therapeutic Yoga today. We are going to be a we're going to do a class today using the yoga strap. I'm going to attempt to teach you how to be able to use the yoga strap for many different exercises and postures related to yoga. Uh, and we're going to see if I can successfully make it an entire hours class using the yoga strap for every single pose. So let's see how that goes. All right. So what you're going to need for today's class is pretty simple. Uh, your yoga mat, yoga bolster. We're going to start in sitting on the yoga bolster to do some things. And then we'll just use the yoga bolster at the very end of class uh, for Zipasana. And then obviously your yoga strap or something similar to it. I like to use an eight foot yoga strap, um, but whatever works for you will do. Um, I wanted to start with just a quick little, uh, I don't want to say lecture, but an instruction on things about yoga straps. So yoga straps usually come in two different ways. They come with this type of apparatus to connect the yoga strap, or they come with two metal rings. And so if your yoga strap at home has the two metal rings, it's pretty simple. You're going to put your yoga strap in to both metal rings and then put it through only one of the metal rings. If you are using a yoga strap that looks like this, what you're going to do when we go to using it as a loop is you're going to put it into the piece of plastic closest to the yoga strap and then through the piece of plastic that's on the top of the yoga strap so that you get a nice good bind. Now, if you look at your yoga strap at home, if you have what is called a cinch, there is a piece of the cinch that has the teeth on it. The other side of, this, of the cinch is completely flat. Make sure when you insert your yoga strap into the, sorry, the metal piece into your yoga strap, the teeth are on the side you're inserting into. Otherwise, you won't get the cinch that you want to get. Okay, so let's begin today using our yoga strap for posture. So lots of us tend to have forward shoulder posture and forward neck posture. So it's kind of like this is happening to us as we're aging, right? A lot of that has to do with we do so much forward in our lives because our eyes are on the front of our head and we do much, so much in sitting, we don't do so much behind us where we have to use our arms and our shoulder blades into a backward position. So what I'd like to do today is to begin to teach you a easy posture exercise that you could use for anything in life. So for what it stands for or what it counts for, I actually use this for doing puzzling. So I make sure when I'm puzzling that I keep my posture belt on so that I'm not doing this as I puzzle. So find your strap for me and place it around somewhere the middle of your back. So if you're a woman and you have a bra on, kind of match where your bra strap is. If you're a man, try to um, bring it down so it's about anywhere from three to six inches below your armpit, okay? Make sure that your strap is equal on both sides. So just kind of check that out for me. And then here's what you're gonna do. Take the strap up and over one shoulder and then take the strap up and over the other shoulder. Now make sure you don't take out an eye when you do that. Now you have it on both sides around you. So simply cross your arms so that you've made a crisscross on the back of your shoulder blades. In this position, check in that these little straps are sitting right in line with your armpits. Now what you can do is literally pull the strap and it's going to correct your shoulder blade position. And you then can, as I've shown you already, D-ring or cinch the yoga strap. And so now try it at home with me if you'd like. When you do this, you can't fall into that forward shoulder girdle position. Your neck can still go into forward head position, but it's a whole bunch more uncomfortable to do that when you can't take your entire shoulder and thoracic girdles with you. So see if you can kind of match your strap to my strap. It will make a cross and a line on the back. Then 
find yourself in sitting and we're going to try working on doing our diaphragmatic breathing in a nice efficient shoulder girdle position using a yoga strap so have yourself in tailor sitting or easy pose meaning your legs are simply crossed unless your hips are too tight and if that's the case then you know you can just simply bring your legs gently out also, you can use pillows or yoga blocks underneath your knees to take some tension off your hamstrings if you need to. So whatever feels comfortable for you, give it a try. Make sure that you feel that there is weight through your legs. And so we don't want to have all of our weight from our spine coming down just into our pelvis because then one of two things are gonna happen. We're either just gonna roll our pelvis back and you will feel that pressure onto your yoga strap or you're going to arch really far and then you'll lose the pressure onto the yoga strap. And so if your spine is tall, but you feel a gentle amount of tension on your strap, you know you probably have a good position of your trunk and your pelvis. Take your arms for me and just hold a tray in front of you. Allow your arms to come out and just simply pull your shoulder blades back and down. Now when you do that, if you feel like your strap kind of loosens a bit, just give it a little tug and then rest your arms down on your legs. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin into your throat and rest your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Allow yourself to close your eyes if you'd like. And then in this position, all that we're gonna work on doing today is focusing on the diaphragmatic breath. And so what I want you to do is there is a strap right where your diaphragm is. So can you take a deep inhale and push into that strap, ladies and gentlemen, and then just slowly exhale. Inhaling in, push into that strap, feel your diaphragm and your lower ribs expand, and then simply exhale, letting the strap soften away from the ribs. Let's do that three more times. Nice deep inhale in. And then just gently exhaling out. You can kind of count your breath if you like, or just make sure you're doing a little bit longer exhale than inhale. And inhaling in. And exhaling out. One more time. Inhaling in. And exhaling out. Beautiful, opening your eyes. Let's disconnect the strap if you've got yourself in a good posture position. But remember how you did that so that the next time you're gonna do, you know, maybe a prolonged sitting activity, like maybe even reading, you can put yourself in a more efficient posture to do it and not kind of collapse into gravity. All right, so let's take our strap and let's place the strap up and over our right shoulder, down and under our left arm. So in this position, what I want you to do with the strap on the right side is just kind of gently wrap it around your right arm. And then with the strap on the left side, gently wrap it around the left arm. Now you kind of have a tug of war that you can play. Make sure if you've got a necklace or anything on that you move it out of the way. I don't want you to scratch or bruise your skin here. So in this position, in this little tug of war that you've got, Simply allow yourself to side bend your head over the strap. So kind of shortening all of the tissues on the side of your neck. Take a deep inhale here. And then on the exhale, with the left arm, just kind of pull the strap back. You'll feel everything move back. There is a bit of tension in the right arm so that it doesn't just slide back. Now, once you have this position and you feel like there's tension pulling the muscles on the right side of your neck backwards, slowly start to lift your head up and then slowly start to tilt your head away until you feel some stretch in the side of the right neck. Now, you can stay right here, or if you want to add to that stretch, so get a little bit deeper into those muscles on the side of your neck without changing your side bend. Can you turn your head and look up to the ceiling, or can you turn your head and look down to the floor? You at home, which way is it tighter for you? wherever it's tighter, main out, maintain that position. Let's get a little bit of eyeballs involved in this. So whichever direction you've turned your head, look into that direction. And now let's go through two of those nice deep diaphragmatic breaths. 
to take a nice deep inhale into your belly and then exhaling out and nice deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. Inhaling, lifting the head back up and exhaling, relaxing the strap. All right, now, I don't want you to get confused, but I'd like you to see if you can do this with me. Don't move your strap from where it is, okay? But the left strap, take it and wrap it around your arm. So you've now made an anchor of the strap on the left side. Now, look what you've got. You've got two hands that you can pull on this right strap. So a key dysfunction to our neck, our rib cage, and our arms, particularly if you ever get any numbness or tingling in your arms, is the very top rib of your rib cage sometimes gets sticky. And what I mean by that is it kind of gets stuck in an upright position. So now that we've kind of stretched out those muscles of the side of the neck, we're literally going to work on pushing that rib back down. Now, as you do this at home, if you're feeling any sort of numbness or tingling or any increase of pain that is unusual for you, don't push through that. But if you're not having any symptoms like that, give this a try. So keep the strap right over the side of the neck where it feels like the neck comes downward and then the, the shoulder girdle starts to go sideways. That's the perfect position to have that strap. Side bend your head back over that strap. Keep your head side bent. Now, holding onto the strap with two hands, you can even double it over the right hand again if you like. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then on your exhale, really pull that strap down and forward. Now that you've got that rib pulled downward or depressed, begin to slowly bring your head upright. You will likely find there's not a lot of side tilt to the opposite side you can do this time. You can stay right here, or if you like, you can add that little bit of rotation upward or rotation downward again. Now, it is key once you put tension on these scaling muscles and you've got that rib pushed downward to do at least two or three really deep breaths because that's what's gonna loosen up that rib and get you a very happy neck, arm, and shoulder. So here's what I want you to do. Stay with pulling that strap down as much as you feel comfortable. Stay with your head tilted away and stay with your head slightly turned up or down. If your head is up, take your gaze up. If your head is down, take your gaze down. Now, deep inhale into your belly. So deeply, you feel that strap almost push up into your rib. And then as you exhale, can you pull the strap anymore? Two more times. Deep inhale inward. And then as you exhale, can you pull that strap anymore? One more time, nice deep inhale in. And then as you exhale, can you pull that strap anymore? Very good. Inhale, bring your head back up and exhale, relax the strap. It's a lot of tension on the hands, isn't it? All right, unloop the strap from the left arm and then very simply bring it up and over the left neck and bring it down and behind so now it is underneath the right armpit. Going through stretching the muscles on the left side first before we get back into that rib. So just take the strap up and around the right hand I mean left hand on the left side, and then take it up and around the right hand on the right side. So you have a little tug of war that you can do here. In that position, allow yourself to side bend your head up and over that strap. Take a deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, keeping the right hand slightly taut, pull the strap back with your right hand, sorry, left hand taut, pull back with your right hand until you feel tension being pulled backwards on that left side. Once you have that tension being pulled backwards on that left side, start to side bend your head away and then go as far as you can until you feel that tension in the side of your left neck. Now that you're there, do the same thing we did on the right side. If you turn your head up, is there more tension? If you turn your head down, is there more tension? 
If you're turning up, gaze up. If you're turning down, gaze downward. Now let's go through one really nice diaphragmatic breath here. So take a deep inhale inward and exhaling. Then inhale your head back up and exhale, relax the strap, but don't move the strap from where it is. Just take your hands away from the strap. All right, now with the strap on the right side, that's underneath the armpit. Wrap it around your arm. So all you're doing is creating an anchor there. Now you have two hands that you can use the strap on the left side. If you like, you can kind of wrap it around your left hand, completely up to you, or you can just hold it with both hands. Now we've stretched out the muscle. We're gonna kind of open up what we call the thoracic ring or the thoracic outlet here. So side bend your head once again over that strap. Take a deep inhale inward. And then as you exhale, pull that strap down and forward on this left side. A Little bit more pressure than you did when you did the muscle. Then very slowly start to bring your head upward. Do not be surprised if you cannot side tilt opposite as far as you did that first time. Once you have your weight here, check in. Is there more tension up? or is there more tension down? Find which way the tension is the most for you by rotating your head, and then take your eyes, take your gaze in that same direction. Now, it's really important to do deep breaths here so that you can get that rib nice and loose and moving. So let's do three breaths on this side like we did on the opposite side. So keep those eyes in the direction of your rotation, keep that tilt and keep that pressure on that strap. Take a deep inhale into your belly and chest. And then as you exhale, is there any more pull downwards you can make with that strap? Two more times, deep inhale inward. And then exhaling out. And then one more time, nice deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Then inhale, lifting the head back up, exhaling, relaxing the strap, taking the strap away from underneath the right arm and getting ready to go into a stretch for our tricep muscles. So these are the muscles of underneath our arm. So what I'd like you to do is once again, place the strap so that it's up and over your right neck. And then in this position, allow yourself to take the strap up and around your right hand. Good. Take your arm behind you. So it's kind of like you're holding that strap behind your neck and then find the strap with your left hand. All right. So take a deep inhale here and then on your exhale with the left hand, pull the strap down as you reach your arm up. Very good. Now for most of us, you can feel something in your arm where your tricep muscle is. If you've really lifted your rib cage up, you kind of lost your shoulder. So take a deep inhale here and on the exhale, pull the rib cage down, tighten the abdominals, and then pull that elbow up. All right, take a deep inhale into your belly here and then exhaling out. Let's do two breaths on this one. Nice deep inhale in and exhaling out. Beautiful, relax the strap down. Flip the strap up and over the left shoulder. Take the strap up and around the left hand and then bring that strap and the arm behind you so that your left elbow is now up and towards the ceiling. Find the opposite end of the strap. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale with the right hand, pull that strap down as the elbow goes up to the ceiling. Now, if your chest lifts up, take a deep inhale here and on the exhale, use your abdominals and kind of like do a sit up as you pull that rib cage down. One more time, inhaling and exhaling, pulling that left elbow up. There's your shoulder and your triceps. Now take a deep inhale into your belly, exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. Very nice, releasing the arm down, taking the strap now and finding the strap so that it's about shoulder width for you. So if you pick, take your hands in front of you, what would be shoulder width for you? In this position, you can just hold on to the strap like we've already been doing for the class. If you've got weakness in your hands or your wrists just don't like you that much, 
just do a loop around both and make sure you still have something around shoulder width. All right, take a deep inhale and lift the arms up into the air. And then as you exhale, pull the strap on the left side over. Oh boy, can you feel that stretch through the right shoulder and the right side body. Now sit into your right sit bone, turn your right armpit up, take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, can you pull with that left arm a little bit more? See if you can try to keep that right elbow straight. Two breaths into that right side body. Deep inhale into that right side body. And then exhaling out. One more time. Nice deep inhaling in. And then exhaling out. Inhale the arms back up to the center and then exhale, relax the arms down. Maybe give those shoulders a couple of circles. And then let's repeat it on the left side. Arms straight out. Take that nice deep inhale, lift the arms straight up. And then on the exhale, pull with the right arm as you start to open up through the left shoulder and side body. Now sit into your left sit bone. Don't let yourself come off of your base of support. Take a deep inhale and then as you exhale, can you pull even further? Keep that left elbow straight if you can. All right, two deep breaths into that left side body. Deep inhale into your belly and then exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhaling in and exhaling out. Good job, inhale that arm back up and then exhale, relax the arms down and give those shoulders a couple of nice good opens. All right, one more thing for our upper body before we start to tackle the below. So just simply take your strap behind you, have it so that you've got access to the strap on both sides, and then see if you can hold the strap somewhat about shoulder distance. So again, if you kind of can feel, okay, that feels like it's about shoulder distance to me, you can wrap your hands around the strap again, just like we did if you like, whatever works for you. Now, here's what I want you to do. We're kind of going to do a really accentuated cow pose here, but I really want you to think about what your shoulder blades are doing, but also what you're doing with your collarbones. So we're gonna try to pull our arms gently away from our bolster and then start to lengthen the collarbones away from one another. So this isn't about just arching your back and lifting your arms upward behind you. That can hurt a lot of shoulders. Lift the arms upward enough that you don't feel any pain in your shoulders. And then really try to pull the arms away from one another like you're taking the thumbs in opposite directions. Take a deep inhale into your chest. Stretch out that pec muscle. And then exhaling out. Let's do one more breath. Deep inhaling in. And then exhaling out. Beautiful. Relax the strap away from your hands. Take the strap and just place it in front of you. We're gonna be using it in just a minute, but we wanna get rid of our bolster first. So we're gonna stay in a seated position, but just off of our bolster. So what I would like you to do with your bolster is set it up so it's going to be ready for the end of class. So just gently take the bolster down to the very end of your yoga mat so that it is exactly where we will need it when we, when we find our way to Savasana. All right. Let's have some fun and see if everybody can do this at home. So take your yoga strap and just do a single loop. So kind of like a lasso, you got it? All right, now that you've got that lasso, place the lasso around your right foot and then gently place your right foot out away from your hip with your knee straight. Left foot, just gently place it into your inner thigh. Right now, chances are your pelvis is pointed directly forward. So what I want you to do in this position before we get into kind of tackling this right hamstring and glute muscle is I literally want you to imagine shortening the right leg. So take your right sit bone and bring it back. So all of a sudden now your entire pelvis is pointed towards that right leg. Now in this position, Take the strap so that the strap is on the right side of you. Once you have the strap on the right side of you, just gently bring your hand down the strap until your right arm is straight. You've got it. Left hand can hold the strap if you want, completely up to you. Take your shoulders, please, and line them up perpendicular to this right leg. 
take a deep inhale here. As you take that inhale, hold that strap, feel that tension in that ankle. You may already feel something in your hamstring. If so, this is where you stay. If not, as you exhale, can you hinge your hip a tiny bit and kind of lean your chest towards the strap in the foot? Now, if you like, See if you can hold on with both hands so that your shoulders don't lose their position relative to your hand or your foot. Take another deep inhale, allow yourself to pull that foot up. And then as you exhale, can you bend your elbows now as you lean your chest forward? So don't curl your back. It's literally you're hinging at your hip as you lean your chest forward. All right, let's stay right here. Take a deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Can you make sure your neck is long and your chin is tucked as you gaze at your big toe? Deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. Good, inhaling, coming back up and exhaling there. All right, now, don't move your lasso. Keep your foot lassoed, okay? What I want you to do though, is I want you to now make that right leg really long. So you can do that one of two ways. You can take your left sit bone and pull it back, or you can take your right sit bone and pull it forward. You pick which way you want to do, doesn't matter to me, but can you look that your pelvis is now pointed towards your left knee? Should be that you feel already a little bit of tension onto the inner thigh on this right leg. Now, once you have this, Take your strap into your left hand. Bring your left hand up and over. All right, do you feel the stretch? Beautiful. Now take your right hand and grab the inner part of the strap wherever you can hold onto it. If you've got remarkable flexibility, obviously you can hold onto your foot. But for those of you at home that are a little bit higher up, can you see that you can now use your strap to kind of get a little deeper into this inner thigh muscle. So try to keep your left arm straight. It's gonna kind of keep you in line with your right leg. Take a deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, can you just kind of creep your hand down that strap? Keep your belly slightly out. That's it. Now, deep inhale into that right inner thigh. And then exhaling out. Let's do that one more time. Nice deep inhale into that right inner thigh and then exhaling out. Inhale, coming back up and exhale here. It never seems to amaze me how much you start to warm your body up when you start tackling the inner thigh muscles and the hamstrings. Okay, now take your little lasso that you made, ladies and gentlemen, and then just switch your legs. So in this position, take your right foot into your thigh Left foot is the foot that's gonna be lassoed now. So kind of put the strap around your left foot. Just like we did on the opposite side, we're gonna start with the strap in our left hand, but we've gotta make our left leg shorter so that our pelvis is pointed towards the foot. So just pull that left sit bone back and all of a sudden magically, you've got yourself pointed towards that left foot. We know that we're gonna be tackling the hamstrings and the glutes here. Holding on to the strap with your left hand to begin, can you rotate your shoulders so that they are perpendicular to your left leg? Now take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, start to hinge at your hip, lift your chest forward towards your foot. If you wanna grab with your right hand, feel free to do so. It helps your shoulders stay perpendicular and your rib cage. Take another deep inhale. And then as you exhale, can you maybe bend your elbows and lift your chest, chest and then bring that hip hinge a little bit closer. Now let's breathe into that left hamstring. Deep inhale into the belly. And then as you exhale, holding here, make sure you haven't collapsed through your low back. So don't let your spine arch. Deep inhale inward and then exhaling. Beautiful, inhale, coming back up and exhale, relax here. Don't move your strap. Let's see if we can get this inner thigh. So remember, two options. You can lengthen the leg by just pulling the right sit bone forward or by pulling the left sit bone backward. However you get it, check in that your pelvis is somewhat facing towards the right leg or the right knee. You should already feel maybe a little bit of stretch into that right or left inner thigh. 
take your strap and the strap is going to help you get alignment correctly through your rib cage. So take your right arm and straighten your right arm so that your shoulder blades and your arms line up with that left leg. Then just gently grab the strap wherever your flexibility has in store for you. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. Take that deep inhale, keep your spine nice and long. And as you exhale, can you just gently crawl down that left strap, holding it here. Take that deep inhale into your belly and into that left inner thigh. And then as you exhale, relax. Let's do one more time. Nice deep inhale into the belly and inner thigh. And then exhale and relax. Beautiful. Slowly inhale, coming back up and then exhaling here. All right. Now, we're going to try something different with our cat cow today. So remember how I taught you how to do your loop at the beginning of class? If you've got a D ring, you know how to do it. If you've got a cinch strap, go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Make your cinch of your cinch strap. We are going to work on strengthening our hips at the same time as we open our spine. So here's what I need you to do. I need you to make your strap approximately a six inch diameter. So if we think about our hips, okay, that's the distance that you want to make your strap. So you could simply take your loop and feel, does it go from hip pointer to hip pointer? Do that at home for me. Once you have, yep, that's hip pointer to hip pointer with my strap, with my loop, then here's what you're gonna do. Take it around your ankles. Once you have the strap around your ankles, as finessey as you can, bring yourself into hands and knees. And so what I want you to do in this position is have the strap around your ankle joints at the distance of two fists between your knees. You did that by using your pelvis. In this position then, you should be able to line up and see that perfect alignment of your ankles and your feet to your knees and your hips. Then just stack your knees straight on top of your hips. Walk your hands so that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. And we are ready for some fabulous cat cows, aren't we? But here's what I want you to do. I want you to engage through your in internal rotators of your hip. So try to pull your feet away from one another. Can you feel that engagement here in your pelvis? You might even feel it in your pelvic floor. Keep pulling that strap away from one another. Maintain that and let's see if you can do two things at once. So keep that engagement of your inner or internal rotators of your hip. And let's go through three cat cows. So give me an inhale and sink your belly, lift your spine, shoulder blades back and down, lengthen the neck and look up, pull that strap away with those ankles. And then as you exhale, pull that belly up and in, tuck that tailbone under, spread the shoulder blades, chin to chest, gaze into the belly. Keep that strap engaged. Inhale, allow your belly to sink, shoulder blades, lift the tailbone, lengthen the neck, look upward. And then as you exhale, pull everything up and in, chin to chest, gaze at that belly now, engage through those hips. And one more time, sink the belly, sink the spine, lift the tailbone, shoulder blades back, lengthen the neck and look up. Keep pulling with that band. And then as you exhale, pull everything under chin to chest. Now keep pulling with that band, slowly sit into your child's pose. And as soon as you get as far back as you can, relax the hips. Not so easy, is it? Lengthen the rib cage forward onto your thighs. Rest your chest towards your knees. Drop the crown of your head towards the floor. Relax your arms. All right, let's go through a couple of nice, slow, deep inhales and exhales here. So take a deep inhale into your belly. And then exhaling out. Inhaling into your belly. And then exhaling out. Gosh, that feels so good. Let's do one more time. Inhaling into your belly. And exhaling out. All right, slowly make your way up. Now we're going to be getting onto our belly, but we want to make sure 
that we change our strap into our little lasso before we do that. Now, if you want, you can keep it in cinch format and then bring it nice and small so that it's gonna be able to fit around your right foot, okay? If you don't want to keep it in cinch, you can simply take it all the way out and bring it so that it's just in a lasso again. Whichever works for you will work perfectly fine for the remainder of class. Once you have that, take the strap around your right foot. Once the strap is around your right foot, lay on your side and then gently roll on your belly. Now, if you're somebody that needs support for your belly, good time to maybe grab a pillow or something just to kind of rest underneath your belly. If you have a lot of issues with your low back, you might even want to grab that bolster that's down there at the bottom of your mat and lay that underneath your rib cage and your belly. In this position, take the strap and place it up and over the right shoulder. It's around the right ankle. Now, take the knees and squeeze the knees nice and tightly towards one another. Take a nice deep inhale and then on your exhale, use your hands and gently pull your heel towards your buttock. You've got a nice good tension between the strap, your foot, and your shoulder right now. Only go to where you begin to feel a gentle stretch in your thigh. If you are feeling anything at all in your knee joint or your kneecap, please let go a little tiny bit or you're not gonna be able to continue with the remainder of the stretch because you're already gonna be already at the end of tension of your patellar tendon. So no knee pain, no kneecap pain, only thigh tension, please. In this position now, take a nice deep inhale and on the exhale, squeeze your thighs together. You've got it. Now take a nice deep inhale and exhale and tighten your abdominals and tuck your tailbone under and feel that maybe not so beautiful stretch in your right thigh. <laughs> Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Let's go through two deep belly breaths here. Deep inhale into your belly and exhaling out. Let's do one more time. Keep that tailbone tucked under, abdominals engaged. Deep inhale in and exhaling out. Release the pelvic tilt, release the squeeze of the thighs, and then gently release the foot until you get to the point that your knee and your ankle are stacked. Now see if you can do this magic for me. Can you fiddle with your foot and your strap and see if you can, just at home, switch it from one foot to the other. Sometimes I'm successful at this, sometimes not so much. Let's see how today is looking. Today is a not so much looking day. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of help to get it around my left foot. If you did it at home that you could just switch a Ruzi, good for you. And then just gently let your right foot come down. Now switch the strap so that it's up and over your left shoulder for me, please. It's around that left ankle. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, just pull that knee. I bend that knee so that that heel is coming towards the buttock. Same deal as on the other side, ladies and gentlemen. Please do not pull so close to your buttock that you're getting any sort of knee joint or kneecap pain. Ease, ease off if that's the case. All right. Now that you have the tension where you want it, Take a nice deep inhale, and then on the exhale, squeeze the inner thighs together. Yep, there's that outer quadricep we wanna get. Now, the final and the most important part, take a deep inhale here, and as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under as you tighten your abdominals. That's your rectus femoris muscle, ladies and gentlemen. See if you can hold that stretch, and let's go through two deep inhales and exhales. So nice deep inhale into your belly, and then exhaling out. One more time, deep inhale into the belly and exhaling out. Good, releasing the pelvic tilt, releasing the squeeze through the thighs, releasing the leg. Now, how good can you be? Can you keep that lasso on your left foot and simply allow yourself to roll over onto your back? So as you do that, it's just gonna kind of save us one step of having to lasso in a second. So just gently keep the lasso on the left foot. It's where we're gonna begin with our hamstrings and our glutes, but let's do a couple knees to chest before we really get into that. 
So take your left knee to your chest. Once you have it, find the strap and just gently pull the knee nice and close into your chest. Very nice. Now see if you can do this for me. Take your right knee to your chest, take the strap and pull it all the way around, around the right leg, over the left leg. And then can you see that you can use the strap to kind of pull both of your knees to your chest? All right, give it a try now. Deep inhale in, and then as you exhale, pull those knees to your chest. Lengthen your neck and settle your chin. Nice deep inhale in. And then exhaling, pulling the knees into the chest. Boy, that feels good, doesn't it? And then slowly releasing, taking the loop around both legs, taking the right foot only to the floor. Left knee is gonna stay to your chest. Once you've got the right foot to the floor, slide the right leg down the mat. Okay, can you take a check that your right foot isn't to the outside of your mat and hasn't crossed your body, but rather it's straight down from the hip. Now, in this position, allow yourself to hold your lasso on your foot and then take a nice deep inhale in and as you exhale, pull the knee into the chest. All right, inhale. Can you just gently straighten the leg as you pull that strap? Keep the knee to your chest. Exhale, just let it bend. You got it. Inhale, straight knee. Exhale, just let it bend. So I'm just gently holding my knee to the chest with my left hand as I'm pulling with my right hand. Inhaling and straightening, length of the neck, settle your chin. Exhale and relaxing. Two more times. Inhale and straighten. Exhale and relax. And one more time. Inhaling and straightening and exhaling and relaxing. Beautiful. Now hold the strap on the inside of your leg. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, kick your leg straight out. So you've got a single strap today. We don't have it around the foot. So you only have it that it's lassoed. So in this position, feel free to hold on with both legs but get your leg nice and heavy and get your knee completely straight. And then take an inhale and on the exhale, how far can you pull your leg up before your knee begins to bend? The moment that knee bends, don't pull any further. Now that you have that there, take the strap with the left hand. Do this for me today, wrap it around that left hand. Take the right hand and place the right hand onto your pelvis on the right side. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Take a deep inhale here. Without the right hand and the pelvis moving, as you exhale, can you gently let that leg come up and away to the side? How far can you get? Don't let your pelvis move. Now, can you inhale and straighten that left leg and exhale and maybe see if it goes any further. Keep that pelvis stable, ladies and gentlemen. Inhale, kick that heel away, straighten that leg. Exhaling, relaxing here. Hold here. One deep inhale and exhale through the belly. So take a deep inhale into your belly, then exhaling out. Beautiful. Inhale, lifting that leg back up and exhaling, just holding it here. Don't release it yet, but maybe give it a little bit of less tension in case you're feeling too much tension through your sciatic nerve and hamstrings. And then when you're ready, switch it on over to the opposite side. Now, let's get this knee straight and let's get to our full tension first. So take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, how far can you lift your leg before your knee starts to straighten? Maybe, just maybe, you're up a little bit more already. Left hand, place it to the front of the pelvis and drop your left elbow to the mat. It's really gonna allow you to know when your pelvis starts to rotate off of the mat. Keeping that left knee straight, take a nice deep inhale here. And then on the exhale, can you slowly start to let that knee cross your body? 
Do not let the left pelvis lift off the mat. Where can you go to? Keep that left pelvis engaged in this position. Take an inhale, straighten that knee, push that heel away from you. And then as you exhale, can you go any further? One more time, nice deep inhale, straightening the knee, pushing it away from you. And then as you exhale, maintain it here. All right, let's do one deep inhale into the belly. And then exhaling out. Inhale, bringing the leg all the way up to the center. And then finally exhaling it, bringing your knee to your chest. Okay, now here's what I want you to try to do. Can you bring your right foot up to your chest? And then can you simply take that left lasso and bring it around the right foot? All right, once we have it around the right foot, keep both knees to the chest. Let's try that loopy loop around both legs to do double knees to chest here. So literally take the strap and wrap it around both knees. Take a nice deep inhale and on the exhale, pull your knees into your chest. It's kind of like you've got a full bind of your knees all the way into your chest here. Lengthen your neck and settle your chin. And give me a nice deep inhale into the belly. And then exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhale into the belly. And then exhaling out. Beautiful. Now, slowly unloop. And once you've unlooped, relax the left foot to the floor. With the left foot to the floor now, keeping the right knee to the chest, slowly stride, slide the left leg down. Take a look if you need to to make sure that your knee lines up with your hip so that you don't have it too far out or too far in. So find that position that's comfortable for you. All right. Now, in this position, holding on to the strap with the right knee to the chest, you can hold it to the inside or the outside. I'm gonna do the same as I did on my opposite side. So I'm gonna hold the strap to the inside and hold my knee to the outside with my right hand. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale, pull your knee nice and tight into your chest. Left leg stay straight. Lengthen your neck and settle your chin into your throat. All right, five times inhaling and exhaling as we straighten that knee. So could you take a gentle inhale and straighten the knee as you pull with that strap? And then as you exhale, just gently let it bend. Beautiful, four more times. Inhaling and straightening. And then exhaling and bending. So playing a little bit with the sciatic nerve, the gluteals and the hamstrings here, inhaling and straightening. Keep that knee to your chest, chest, exhaling and relaxing. Inhaling and straightening. Exhaling and relaxing. I think that was four. One more time. Inhaling and straightening. And exhaling and relaxing. Most excellent. All right, let's move on. So from this position, take a nice deep inhale. And on your exhale, kick your legs straight away. So you've got a single lasso here. You can hold it with both hands if you want, but really allow yourself to feel the weight of your leg with your knees straight. And then slowly on your inhale, start to find that point where your knee starts to bend. Do not go to the knee bend. Stay wherever you can keep your right knee straight. All right, in this position, last, uh, go around your right hand with wherever the position is that you've got your right knee straight. Left hand, place it on the left pelvis so that you can hold that position of that pelvis. Keeping the right leg straight. Give me a beautiful, nice inhale here. And then on the exhale, gently allowing the right leg to fall out to the right Really manage the left pelvis, making sure it doesn't move an inch from your mat. Inhaling, straighten the knee, lengthening the heel away and exhaling. Do you have any more? Maintaining that position. Inhaling, straightening the knee, pushing the heel away. Exhaling here. Now maintain one beautiful belly breath. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Give me an inhale into the belly. And an exhaling out. 
slowly inhale, bringing the leg all the way back up, and then switching the hands, looping the strap around the left left hand, right hand, come and grab that pelvis for me, ladies and gentlemen. Once you have it, make sure we find the straight knee position. So just slowly inhale, and as you exhale, can you bring your leg any higher, keeping that knee straight? All right, let's move across the body here. So really be aware of that right pelvic bone and that right hand doesn't move a centimeter. Take a nice deep inhale, and then as you exhale, slowly let the leg come across the body. It will be much less than you think it is. All right, let's go through those two breaths to lengthen here. So inhale, straightening the knee, lengthening that heel away, and then as you exhale, is there any more? Check in with your right pelvis, it is flat on the mat. One more time, deep inhaling here, pushing that knee away from you, pushing that heel away from you, exhaling. Find your belly breath, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Take an inhale into your belly and exhaling out. Right leg slowly inhaling, bringing it all the way up and then exhaling, bending your knee up to your chest. Sliding your left leg up the mat, taking an inhale and as you exhale, pulling your left knee into your chest, taking that strap and hooking it around both of those legs. Take a nice deep inhale here and on the exhale, pull those knees into your chest. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Give me a nice deep inhale here. And exhale. One more breath. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Now gently unwrap the strap away from your legs. Release your left foot to the floor. Take the foot and the strap away from one another on the right leg. Now here's what I want you to do. This is the last position for your strap for the class, but let's see if we can do this. So take your cinch or your D-ring, place it into your right hand for me, ladies and gentlemen, and just gently lift your rib cage and place the strap flat underneath you. Find the lowest part of your rib cage. So we're gonna use the strap in spinal twist and in savasana to be able to really focus on that diaphragm. Before you start to cinch your strap up, what I'd like you to do is gently kind of move yourself down your mat until you find a position that you can place your heels on your yoga bolster. Then bend your knees back up so you know that you're in the right position for the end of class. Now, here's the only tough part. You gotta cinch the sucker up and it's a log strap. But if you can, use your D-ring or use your cinch and see if you can give yourself a band all the way around your lower ribs. Now, it is not so tight that you can't create a nice inhale inward. It is tense enough that when you inhale, you feel the tension around your rib cage. It's going to allow us to really work on expanding those ribs out as our diaphragm comes down. Now that you have that, allow yourself to bring your right foot down on the bolster. Gently place your left knee up on your thigh. Grab your left knee with your right hand. Right hand gently out to the side of your body. Take a deep inhale here. And then on the exhale, start to twist the left knee to the right. Let the, uh, the right foot rotate on the bolster. Keep going until you feel like you've gotten to your left shoulder blade. Lengthen your left arm away from you. Lengthen your neck and your chin and just gently turn to your left. Now, remember that yoga strap? Let's make it work here. So the left lower rib cage. Can you take a deep inhale in and feel the tension into that strap? And then as you exhale, relax the tension. One more breath, deep inhale into that belly. And as you exhale, relax that tension. Slowly bring your head back to the center. 
start at your left rib cage, slowly start to de-rotate the rib cage, feel the strap hit the mat, ladies and gentlemen, and then your low back, and then your pelvis, and then the leg on rotates as the right foot comes back upright. Gently place your left heel on your bolster. Allow your right foot to gently place onto your left thigh. Left hand, grab the right knee. Right hand out to the side of you. In this position now, allow yourself to take a nice deep inhale. And then on the exhale, right knee allows itself to come to the left. The pelvis and low back and rib cage lift. The left leg rotates outward onto the outer foot onto the bolster. Keep the right shoulder blade down. Lengthen through the right arm. Lengthen your neck and settle your chin in and take your gaze toward your right arm. Now, right rib cage and yoga strap. Take a deep inhale into that diaphragm on that side. Feel the tension on the yoga strap and then as you exhale, relax. One more time, nice deep inhaling in. And then as you exhaling, relaxing. And then starting with the head first, lengthening the neck, settling the chin, bringing the nose back up, right? And then going to that right shoulder blade next, slowly rotating the back back down onto the mat. Feel when that strap hits, be aware of that. Then the low back and pelvis, unrotate the right knee, unrotate the left foot. Once you're there, place your right foot on the floor, place your left foot on the floor. Check in if you need to kind of tighten or change your strap position. Take your left knee and your right knee to your chest. Take a deep inhale here and exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Two deep inhales and exhales into that strap. Can you lengthen your neck and settle your chin? Deep inhale in. Feel the entire rib cage expand as you're opening through that low back. And then as you exhale, relax the tension on the strap. One more time, inhaling in and exhaling out. Slowly drop the right and the left foot to the floor. Kind of shift yourself around, make sure your low back is in a comfortable position, shoulder blades are underneath you. Do not move the yoga strap. And then gently place your right foot down onto your bolster to the edge of your bolster. Gently place your left foot and heel down onto the bolster to the edge of the bolster. Get yourself in a nice comfortable position where feet are wider than your hips. Take your arms and gently rest your arms out to the side of your body. Allow your neck to lengthen, settle your chin into your throat. Start to relax your body for a second. Settle your tongue to the roof of your mouth, tip of the tongue to the back of the top teeth. Gently close the veils of your eyes, relax your eyeballs all the way in the sockets of your eyes. Now, before we let ourselves be perfectly still, let's go through three beautiful diaphragmatic breaths into that yoga strap. So take a deep inhale in. Feel the tension all the way around that strap. And then as you exhale, relax. Two more. Deep inhale into that strap. And then exhaling out. One more. Deep inhaling in. And then exhaling out. Relax your body. Relax your neck. Settle your chin. Relax your legs. Soften your body. Just take a moment to check in. Is there equal weight into your right and left heel? And is there equal weight into your right and left hand? Now 
as you lay perfectly still in Savasana, can you just take your focus to that little bit of pressure that hits that belt around your rib cage every time you take a gentle inhale in. Just pay attention to the beautiful movement of your lungs, your rib cage, and your diaphragm. Soften your face. Relax your eyes and your tongue. Focus on your breath. Now start to wiggle your fingers and your toes and maybe do some circles with your wrists and your ankles. When you're ready, gently bend your right and your left foot up, placing your feet on the floor. Slowly take the tension out of the yoga strap before you roll over on your side. And then gently allow yourself to turn to your left or your right side. Rest there for a moment, maybe a nice slow inhale and exhale. And then when you feel like you're ready on your next exhale, using the top arm, pushing yourself up into a seated position. Hands are to our hearts and smiles are on our faces. Let's take a nice deep inhale here. And exhaling out. Namaste. The highest in me salutes the highest in you. Thank you. <laughs>